Hello everyone, my name is Orhan Ali. What is spinning tree and why we use spinning tree? Spinning tree actually is very similar to routing protocol, actually uh, the distance vector routing protocol, but I will explain it later on. So in this video, let's just talk about the basics, why we are using spinning tree. Spinning tree is used to eliminate the loop in the layer 2 networks. So if you have Ethernet as a transport protocol, uh, as you know, we are using switches in the layer 2 and if I am sending any broadcast, unknown unicast or, or multicast packet, those actually frame, we should call it in layer 2, in layer 3 we call it packet, right? Whenever we send a frame, layer 2 frame from the switch, it has to go, this broadcast, unknown, unknown unicast and multicast, we also call it bound traffic, okay? Whenever we send any of this frame, it will be sent to uh, all the other layer 2 switches layer in the layer 2 domain, okay? So, in that case, if I am sending a layer 2 frame as a switch and if it comes back to me, okay, so it will create a loop. In spanning tree is used to eliminate this loop. I will use one topology here to explain better the spinning tree. So, in this topology we have layer 2 access design. Layer 2 access design means basically we have here access and distribution layer switches. Access layer switches is, are used to connect the user's IP phone, uh, access point, all those stuff. And the distribution layer switches is used to terminate those access switches. So if you have, let's say, uh, 5, 10, 20, 50 access switches, you can use the distribution layer for scalability. Okay, in this case we have access and distribution layer. And if we have layer 2 links, not the layer 3 routing, etc., IP addresses, but layer 2 link between the access and distribution layer switch, then we call it access layer design. In this case, we have layer 2 access design. I have between two distribution layer switches layer 2 connection. If I have that one from whenever the frame comes from the access layer switch, it will go to distribution and it can come back to that same access layer switch back. This is not good, and if spinning tree is used, one of the link definitely will be always blocked. Okay, spinning tree actually uh, blocks those loops. Okay, eliminate, avoid those loops by blocking the links. This is not good, but so uh, we can also uh, somehow use those links uh, if we do VLAN based load balancing. This is another video topic, but uh, in order to basically eliminate a loop here in this topology, in layer 2 topologies, spanning tree is used. In another videos, I will explain VLAN based load balancing, how we can now utilize those block links for some VLAN, but uh, we will still block those links for other VLANs. So after all, those all those block links will be used. That's why we will not actually waste any our link capacity uh, we will we will see all those in different videos. Also, all the other spinning tree flavors like rapid spinning tree, MST, pervilan spinning tree, rapid pervilan spinning tree will be explained in other videos. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get all those videos notifications. And thank you for watching this video.